What's going on everybody? Today we are doing a tank review because I promised one someone that I'd do it because why not? Today we're doing a T-64 main battle tank. So I guess we'll start with the details here. Alright. So as you see it's pretty much a USSR Russian one. It's not a bad tank. I actually like it a lot so damage can go anywhere from this. 372, 372 damage. Damage per minute is over 2,000. Hit points is over 1,000. The hole in the front is still the strongest. It has it's over 200 millimeters. The sides not that good with 80, and the rear is pretty much horrible with 50 meters. And I guess this game tells you to, what it's made out of: steel and fiberglass in the front. In the hole, let's see. The turn is 320 millimeters in the front. 260 on the sides and 65 in the back. That's still made of steel. It says max speed is 61 miles per hour. Camouflage is horrible. View range is awesome. It even tells you a history, but I don't want to read all that. It said over 13,000 units have been produced. So I guess it was used in battle. So I guess that was good then. I. I'm going to fully upgrade my tanks before I do tank reviews and I have this one for a while and as you see I'm really close to T72 now so let's go check out upgrades here so yeah I guess you can upgrade this and reinforce your ammo rack and proofs show that I reinforce this there's only one shell that you get for the standard shells and they're not bad it still does pretty good in HE you still get, get these I'm using these right now I kind of like these more than these two and are stronger but this one when you get this one it's still pretty much a decent one heat shells I'm using this one right now 455 engines max speed doesn't really change oh I guess it does the acceleration of it changes from 8 seconds to 8 seconds from 850 to 8 seconds this technology you can get with it, like the tank sights, and push your V range, and this. What I like about this one, this one also gets you like a new picture, which is the one I'm using right now. But you still gotta use it. research, and it gives you free money right here. So yeah, and the crew is Commander Philip. And I got two more crew members right here, which almost at their perks. Well, second skill, I guess. This one's pretty much got all of them. So yeah, I guess I'll do some end game for now. But uh, see here, this is the stuff you can get with. Like just like uh, improves and reinforcements, which that one more thing already gives you kind of this kind of pretty much for free. Let's see consumables. I have never really used any of these before, but I guess they would be. But because I play PVE almost all the time, so there's not really any point to it. And they're mainly for PvP, which would be more helpful. And I still got all these stuff, and you can sell them if you wanted to. I just haven't really done that yet. And screw. So far, I got off road driving and do the twist, which helps your turn. Turn. I mean, turn doesn't turn terribly slow, but it. I just do it because it's helpful. This one increases the off-road terrain, which there's a lot of off-road maps on this game. So I guess that, that one helps a lot. Oh yeah, and Commander. She's about to be done. This one I'm just going like this, pretty much. Weapon repair and stuff. That one works. Same with bull right. Zai increases your that English. Okay. So I'm done with all his skills. I, it won't once you pick one side it doesn't let you pick the other side for some reason I don't know why so since we did that I guess we'll just do one of these battles here with this cause I only do PvE cause I'm like that kind of person cause once you play too much World Tanks you kinda get sick of it so it's really annoying especially with how bad it can lag and this one doesn't lag barely at all and one other thing they still have not add, added camouflage. camouflage. There's decals, but camouflage, there's none. And once they add that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a lot of decent camouflage. Because I bet it's going to look nice. And hopefully, because 
I know some loading screens it shows like a tank with camo net on it. I really do hope they put camo nets where you can actually see it, unlike World Tanks where you can't and it just says you have it. They really need to do that. And I got a lot of other people who agree with me. Cause that would be awesome. And they are talking about 2016 right now, but I don't know what else they're gonna add. Oh yeah, the secret of the challenger thing. I'm almost got the money to buy the chieftain. And I'm definitely gonna do a tank review of that one. And the challenger. I know Jingles did it, but I wanna do it too. Cause why not? I don't know why it took so long to load in that time. Oh, it's gonna be lagging then, isn't it? Black Company. This refinery is a valuable strategic asset. The lines of Nequil want to blow it up to send a message to the local. You see it. Gets up to pretty good speed pretty fast. Oh, and the whole armor, when you're in game, you just aim it, angle it just right, and it's just impenetrable. Reload's about 8 seconds for me. That's because my crew's up there. But it's pretty much a 9 to 10 second reload without the crew. Accuracy is awesome with it. If you can just aim it completely then it's going to hit every time of course but on the move it probably hits one in every 10 shots let this guy go fast yeah see what I mean you just yeah Russian just Russian tank you watch world tanks you can understand that pull the truck up Kind of lagging. See, he's behind the ridge. And again, I'm still accepting platoon advice and stuff from anyone who sends it. So, if you guys want to play with me, then go ahead and hit me up an invite or friend request. You know, and I'll accept it. Same with World Tanks. I'll just play with anyone. Even though it lags more than anything in the world, but I'll still play with you if you just Intel say something. Intel supply vehicles containing weapons shipments for the Lions of Nequiel are in the area. Neutralize them en route to the refinery. Got it. It don't get too many shells in this game. I mean, I have always run out of standard shells, like pretty much every single game, and then have to use the la next shells. I don't know why, I just I guess I should shoot too much. Hit his ammo rack. Did he die? No. Oh and sorry it's taking so long for Nep Nep episode four, but I haven't been playing it for a while. My fault. Whoops. So yeah, but I will make one real soon. I promise. And now my tank decided to move by itself. They're okay. Coming. Already. And no shot. Bounce. There's a lot of tanks this tier that can't even pin you when you use it. Oh my god! Freaking lag. I hate what it does, it just like stops, moves forward, stops, moves forward. It's just, like, does it understand it? Oh, ramming in this game does not make sense. Okay, I'm just bad at that. Shooting that close on the move. PNP. Alright, he did. Four hundred. God, I was about to shoot him anyway. Yeah, my gun's destroyed. That's the first time this literally has ever happened. You don't really get many modules damage when you drive this. Let's see here. 
and place. Got him. So, so far we did 1,900 damage. I mean, earlier today I played this thing, which I wish there was replays because I posted. I got 11 kills, almost 12, and like over 5,000 damage done with this tank. Yeah, this treasure probably wasn't lagging as bad as this. Already. Tracked. At least I got assistance for that then. Gun's completely damaged. And there's a third one. Yeah, I think he's just gonna stay over that hill. Yeah, he's gonna go for him. There. Yeah, four kills. Hmm. Oh, this tank isn't expensive at all to play. I guess because it's tier four, but you know, I could shoot this and not lose any any money and pretty much it's just game money all the time and you make a lot of decent experience with it and the tank before this the t54 is pretty much the same this is just like a bigger version with more armor see right over there yeah 400 damage with the heat Seem to be the only one I cap here. <laughs> Someone shooting or running over something. All right, that's the end of that game. Great job, Black Company. The refinery is under our control and the explosives have been disabled. Well, that was easy. Um, can't believe my gun actually got damaged. That's a first. And of course, it always takes forever for it to load back to the garage. Oh, when I get up to 100 subscribers, I haven't really thought of anything yet, but I know I'm going to make some kind of 100 subscriber special. Maybe even do a live stream, but it's going to be on the weekend because I don't like weekdays live streams. I don't ever really can have time to go watch. I see 17,600 credits, 2,000 damage, 1,000 spot, and pretty much always get that reward, so not really a big deal. You need 9999999 experience for the 6 skill, that's crazy. Let's see, damage wise, third. Almost, we have one more shot, we probably would have made it to second. Total, perf yeah, yeah, uh, performance, um, income as well for like being like aggressive and stuff. Minor bonuses, vehicle ownership multiplier, multi multiplier, and just like goes up to that. Then you get this one, it goes all together, pretty much. So that. So I guess if you were to have like a lot of tanks, I guess it would be like a bigger income, but I don't have that much money yet right right now. I want to check this out real quick and show you guys this. The decal, see, there's like no camo. Let's see. Or I just, I guess it's not on this tank, I don't know. Uh, it's only 75,000. 
So yeah, and you can get numbers and make your own little number thing. Like you put 420 or something like that on it. It has like names that you can put. Animals, flags, triangles, Illuminati, and skulls and stuff. But that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I guess that's it pretty much. I want to show a gameplay of it and show off my base. I'm um, almost at everything's at level two almost. Just gotta three more things. So that'll be all. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy.